All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC, and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a D-bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting through step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds, the Cobra. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, USA, the Warrior. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. So Eve Levine draws the lightweight assignment here. Folks, fasten your seat belts. This could end up being a very technical, very entertaining fight. I'm surprised they didn't bring out the geese for this one, champ. I mean, you would have thought as a jiu-jitsu watcher that you would see these two competitors at a jiu-jitsu competition. But ultimately, they are meeting in the octagon, and you are about to see jiu-jitsu in the UFC like we've never seen before. Big off punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. All collar tie. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. And both guys really throwing with authority. Still nice body kick lands. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. You got to check these low leg kicks. Right on the button. Circling to his right. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Beautiful body kick. Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent 
opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, nice right Oh, hand. he might be out. Oh! All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, nice. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round, too, which could have an impact on the judges, potentially. Absolutely. You want to leave an impression in the judges' mind. And when you walk back to your corner, when you get up from a dominant position, you almost want to wave at the judges and say, I got it done. Right. right. Round two is next. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. Here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big punch lands. Ooh. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Hey, keep moving. Hey, take that shot. Take the shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Another big leg kick lands. Visibly limping here. There you go. Look for the shot. <laughs> well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. His opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Nice straight punch. It's high. Just missing on the high kick there. They continue to exchange. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Went for the inside leg kick. starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch, Lance. Two rounds in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready? Fight! 
Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Looking for that left hand, not there. Dig and kick. Oh! oh! Massive knee lands from the tight clinch. Big punch lands through the middle. Boy, tight club. He got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just missed with the left there. Good stick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, thunderous leg kick on him. Lifted a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Lunges. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest for 928. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Cobra! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly, it's a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won this fight, and he won it in dominant fashion.